the Free Syrian Army had captured some weapons from the Syrian regime, like weapons depot. And they had that on video. Some of the captured weapons, it was mainly old stockpile of Russians' equipment. And some of these shells that they had shown on YouTube months before, months before, shells that the Syrian army does not even use anymore. The Free Syrian Army captured those and that's what they used to use with the chemical weapons. It was proven that the shells were old shells that the Syrian regime does not use anymore, but they were captured a few months before by the Free Syrian Army and those are the shells that were used to bomb these with chemical weapons. I'm not defending the regime, by the way. I was and I'm still against all the regimes in the Middle East. I'm not defending the regime. And that's a big, it, it, it's a big pain in my soul, actually, that many of my friends, and I tell them, look, I have to call it the way I see it. I'm not given an opinion as an analyst. As an analyst, you try to analyze the best you can with the information you have without being biased. Without being biased. And to really, I mean, I, I've received many emails on my uh, Facebook page that one time, I'm against Morsi in Egypt and against the Muslim Brotherhood. Then when the coup took place, I was, it looked like that I was defending Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood when, when in fact I was not. I was defending the democracy that took place in Egypt because Morsi was elected. He was elected with a good, solid popular election and uh, Carter Center uh, was there many the United Nations was there the United States was there to observe the elections and everybody said it's perfect so people when they hear me talk sometimes they think oh he's with Bashar al-Assad no I'm not I'm with nobody I'm with nobody I'm not on the side of anyone because if I side up with one side, then I'm not objective anymore. And I won't be able to give you a non or unbiased analysis. So the United States was faced with, we can't bomb because the price was going to be too high that the only thing we do if we started war and we started bombing we cannot stop that we have to bomb the free syrian army because they're the ones who used chemical weapons and the united states was not about to do that france was not about to do that england was not about to do that because that's not in the best interest of israel they wanted them to bomb the regime See, everybody was saying that, oh, well, you know, they did not want these groups, these uh, Mujahideen or whatever, uh, taking over chemical weapons and taking over Syria. No. These groups are controlled by handlers. These groups are controlled by Qatar and Saudi Arabia. And the United States is in total control of Qatar and Saudi Arabia. You know, when it was over for the prince of Qatar, they told him, step down and take your cousin with you because we finished with you. You did what we needed you to do. 
and now it's time to go. And he stepped down. He didn't step down because he really, you know, he was saying, oh, we need to have the younger generations. No. He stepped down because it was it. He came to, he came to the end of his use by the United States. And the United States, if they want this Al-Nusra front to stop, all they have to do is just cut the, uh, the supplies. All they have to do is tell Turkey that is trying desperately to become part of the European Union because that's where the biggest supplies come in from. You stop Turkey supplying these people, Al-Nusra, you give it two weeks, they'll be out. You stop the uh, uh, Saudi Arabia and Qatar from supplying the Free Syrian Army, they'll be out. Well, but what happened though? Why did the opposition actually do that? Why did they use chemical weapons? Now, was chemical weapons used by them? They were coerced by the CIA to actually use it? Or did they use it as a uh, final or as the final card in their hand? Now, why do we say the final card in their hand? The Free Syrian Army is very much an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood. The men that are fighting, they're supplied by the Muslim Brotherhood in, from many countries, from Egypt, from Jordan, wherever the Muslim Brotherhood, from Libya, from Tunisia, wherever the Muslim Brotherhood were, they sent men to fight against the regime. So what happened? Well, the regime was gaining in the last few months. The regime was gaining big time against the rebels. And then this group, Al-Nusra Front, that came from Afghanistan and Libya and Yemen and uh, Chechnya and, and, and thinking that they are fighting for God, thinking that they are protecting Islam. Brainwashed. They're not the only ones brainwashed, by the way, because we have a lot of brainwashed people right here in the United States. So brainwashing people it goes on all over the place. So these, these Al-Nusra front, these foreigners that they supposedly connected with Al-Qaeda, they are very much, they're brainwashed. They think that they are going to actually win this thing when they are, see, they don't know that they are 100% controlled by the CIA controlled by the United States, controlled by the Mossad. Now, a big war is going on between these groups, by the way, inside Syria. Al-Nusra and the Free Syrian Army, they are fighting. So the Free Syrian Army, after the fall of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, which was the biggest supporter of them against the regime. But the Muslim Brotherhood were no more in Egypt. They went from controlling Egypt, controlling the policy of Egypt, into being in prison. The Muslim Brotherhood, a couple of days ago, was outlawed in Egypt. So they went from being at the helm on the top of this pyramid into being in prison. 
This was a big defeat for the Free Syrian Army because they're getting a lot of help from there. So, faced with the destruction of the, the, the Muslim Brotherhood movement in Egypt and the control of the Muslim Brotherhood in Jordan and other places and the regime gaining from one side, the al-Nusra gaining and fighting them from another side, it was a big defeat for the Free Syrian Army. They had one card to play. If the United States of America would enter the war, they're okay. If the United States does not enter the war, they're not okay. If the United States enters the war and comes in and destroys the regime like they did in Libya, then the Free Syrian Army is okay. But they're not going to be okay if they go on the way they were with al-Nusra beating up on them from one side. The regime is gaining big time in many, many places. The less support they are getting from around the world and from, around, from the Muslim Brotherhood, they had only one card to play. The United States. How do we get the United States into entering the war and getting rid of the regime? Chemical weapons. Now, were they coerced? Were they conned? Were they trapped? Was it a bad advice? Did they go, did they do this by themselves? That we don't know. All we know is the trap that was set up to catch the United States did not work. It backfired big time. This is the reason why the United States, England, France, they could not bomb. Now, the regime, the day when they had the bombing, the, uh, on August 21st, when the chemical attack actually took place and killed all these children. You know, in, in the pictures, You've seen a lot of children, but not a lot of, and a lot of women without their parents. Now, there are stories out there, and these, are, these stories are credible stories, and they are facts on the ground. There were many people who moved, they were moved, forcefully moved from their homes in one area into the area where the bombing took place. Many of the people who died, they were not from that same area, that same neighborhood. They were brought in from other places in Syria. Number two, the attack took place on the same day when UN inspectors actually were arriving in Damascus. Now, the regime welcomed the UN inspectors, just like poor Saddam did the same thing, and he thought, Okay, well, come see. I don't have any weapons of mass destruction. So he thought that was actually going to uh, save him, but did not. So Syria said, sure, send the inspectors. In the two or three times when, the, um, when chemical weapons was allegedly used, 
the inspection